Pohone Maras. A tēnā tātou, me ngā karanga hapu e hui nei. He mihi tēnā ki a tātou ngā tangata e, e whakahari ana i ngā iwi, kau e wariwari ki o, ki o hapu. Kau wariwari ki o hapu. Nō reira, he kite ngā kanohi a uh, hoki ngā mahara e ora ngā ngākau tēnei, e tūnei, toki pēnei mai. Uh, ko taku kaupapa, e tī, ka tī, a te titiro tātou, kei te tukua ki a koutou, te tahi pepa, hei whakaaro mā tātou, hara te mea whaka mā tautou, engari, ki a kitea mehe mea mārama ana koutou ki, ta, ki te, te ngako, te matu o taku kōrero. O, oh. i, i mui taiho ake. Ki te au i tēnei uh, pānui tanga, nō reira he kupu tūpato o whakatūpato i a tātou, kaua e hāre koutou ki Google Translate. Te ahu nei nā tēnei kamupini i hāre ki Google Translate, <laughs> ki te kōro mo te pai o te miraka, engare, engare, kā tahi nei te he rawa atu o te takoto o te kupu Māori. Kei... Kei te kōrero, kare tono au te mārama hea, te kōrero mo te pai o te mira kei roto. Engari, ko te kōrero, kei pūmau i roto i a pauaka o Fonterra miraka, kei te pai a pūmua mō ngā ua ua pai rau atu. Kare pē he ana ki a hoko te Māori i tērā hau. <laughs> Oi ano, e kōrero noi o tērā. Kau e a haere ki Google Translate. Hara mai ki a hau. Nā, pātai mai aku pākea, oho pākea. E aha koe e pai ai ki te rō Māori. I kia te au, i rotu i ngā mahi nei, taku mahi ki te whare wānanga, te kūninga ki i pūrehu roa. Kua huri au ki te whakaako i te reo, e ai nei ki te whakaako i tona ātāhua. Nā, i tīmatau ki te rangahau i te taketaku o te kupu, Pēnei tēnei, ka tīmata, ka ma, tō mātou nei hā o te tangata, ka tīmata i tō tātou aro. Ko te aro, he kupu ana mō te whatumano. Ka piki ta hā, ki ngā pū kahu kahu, ka piki ake. Mai te pū kahu kahu, ka piki ki, Te korokoro, mai te korokoro, ka piki ki te ārero, mai te korokoro me te ārero, ka puta he kōrero. Aua kupu e rua, te korokoro me te ārero, nā ngā tipuni waiho ki a mōhio i ahu mai tērā kupu, te kōrero, mai te korokoro me te ārero. Nā ka puta, te kōrero, te reo, me te arohā. Ta hā o te aro, ka piki ake ki enei me te pūkahu, te korokoro te arero. Nō reira, ko ena taku aro hā ki a koutou i rotu i taku kupu kōrero. Tēnā tātou, ko ena te ātāhua tō tātou nei reo. Pērā i te kupu awa, pōhea ko te awa, ko te river. Engari, ka hoki atu ki tōna taketake tanga ko te awa i te wā, i mui te whānau tanga mai, ka whati te wai o te whare tangata, ko ena i te awa. Ki a mōio mai, ahu mai te kupu awa, mai i tērā mahi a te whakawhānau pepe. Ka mihi atau ki o tātou nei tīpuna, i waiho mai tēnei taki-taki ngā kupu, ki a kite i te rerehua o tō tātou nei reo kōranai. Pera i te hapu, ka pū te hā, he hapu, te whānau, whānau, e kōrano mō te pepe. Era mō mō kupu, ka tō, ka hāngai anu ki te awa e noho nei tātou. Kāori te ao pākea nei, ingi te ao ka noho nei tātou. Nō rei te whakārau i nga pō kia puta i nei kōrero, hei whakārau tanga mā tātou. Kia ki te tātou, ko ina te take, 
kei te kōrero i te reo, te takinga o te reo, ta a me te o, pera e te yin me te yang ki te hainamana, ta a me te o ki a tātai. Nā me katoa o tēnei ao, kei rotu i tērā hā o te aro. Tēnā tātai? Nā, ae nei, kua tuku a ngā pepe ki a koutou, ko tāku i kitau rotu ngā toru te koutou ae nei whakaako ni te reo, i kitau i ngā huarangi rua, ngā ako ngā tātou tonu i tahi wā, āhea mahi ai te i, āhea mahi ai te ki, āhea mahi ai te e. Nō reira, titiro ki e nei reringa kōrero, e rima ngā E rima ngā tūmahi, ko te kupu pāke mo te tūmahi, ko te action word, ko te verb. Nā ki te ngā tai, kei te tū a harata i te kauta, tērā tū, nō te tai whānau kupu. Nō te tai whānau kupu. Engari, aua whānau kupu, ka mahi e te i, hei tohu i te tahi mea. Engari, tai wake ki a tere aku taku kōrero te atu ne e ka tere haere te wā. Nga ane ngā momo tūmahi kei te noho hei whānau. Ko te mea ki runga, te wai poro poro, ko tona kupu Māori, ko te tūmahi poro. Pērā i te poro poro aki. Ka poro wa, aua kupu, ka poro wa te mahi ki a koe anō. These are the actions that you do yourself. You stand, no one else, you don't do that to anyone else. There's another way of saying how you stand someone up. You sit, you lie down, you, you sunbathe. All those words that you're doing yourself, they belong to one particular family. They belong to the two mahi poro family. The poro family. The next ones, you do things to, you do the next actions, these are the actions that you do to things and other people. Pere i tēne. Mea tuatai kei te tua harata i te kauta. Ko i ana ke tuana. Kare i mahi i te tai atu mahi. Mea tuarua, ka tuna a harata i te kauta. I e tahi paraua. Now, if you see the, the E changes, the work of the E changes. We'll talk about that the next, the next part of it. The third one, this is one of the words we get into trouble with. It's called a tuahua. It's a type of, it's not an action, it's a state or... Kawai o ngā mea pāke up here. See where the E moves now. Instead of it being done to something, now it's been done by somebody. Ko oti ia harata. Engari e tahi tangata, kei te kite au ka pene i te tangata, ka oti a harata i te. They still think that that word is the same as from the same family as the one above, the red one, which is the tū mahi fiti. The fiti, ka fiti, te wairua, o te mahi, te tunu, ki te paraua. That e makes that fittinga. If the E's not there, then the wairu or the tikang or the kupu doesn't go. The tunu stays with the tunu, and the prawa stays lonely. The next one, the E changes to telling us who's doing the action when we use this whānau kupu. The next one, these actions, the next one, the family of actions that come from our body, all the invisible actions that we have in our body, from our mind, mōhio, mārama, whakāro, Maumahara, from the heart, aroha, all these words that emanate from our body, always they come from our body and then they travel somewhere. So we, our tipuni identify this by using the word ki, aroha ki, hia hia ki, whakaro ki, marama ki, mōhio ki, era mumumahe. When you talk about those invisible actions of the body, now, this is a little strategy I've sort of come across, whether it's tika, mene kia mōhi o koutou, ahoko te kupu Māori, ahoko te takoto te kupu, he aronga ke i ngā wā katoa. There's always an exception. That's one way of getting out of that one. And the last group of uh, words we have here are, uh, we call the hāngu words. The reo hāngu, ka ngūta hā, our tipuni use this word, they use these types of words so that they, the focus of everything was on the action, the work that was being done, not on who was doing the work. So it took away, all the passive languages take away 
anyone's uh, chance to be whakahihi. As we know, kutamahi, kutamahi te mea nui ki ngā tipuna, kutamahi te mea nui ki te Māori, hara ko te tangata i mahi, te mahi. Nō reira, this is the main purpose of the, the passive language, so that we just look at the action. And you have a look at all the old, old writings. Some of it goes for uh, five, six, seven sentences, nobody in it, but there's a lot of mahi happening, a lot of mahi happening. So I don't know how much time I've got, but just look at this one for example. So as you're looking at those words that you've got on the paper there, I've given you a series of words now. You've got the five Fano there. You've got to try and find which words belong to which words. I've given you one already. <laughs> so the two mahi portal, uh, the w actions that you do by yourself, the two mahi fiti, uh, the things that you do to other things, the two ahua, um, <laughs> they are not act actions, they are sort of states of, if I can leave it like that. And then the other ones, the invisible actions that come from, the actions you don't see that come out of your body, from the mind, from the ear, whakarongo, from the nose, the hongi, the hongi, the uh, rongo. The word rongo is used for a lot. Rongo taringa, rongo ihu, rongo arero, rongo ngako. Era au tawa kupu kotahi mō ngā meka tō. Ko te tai rongo, ko te kupu māori mō all the senses. Pera i te pai, tai pakeke, tai tamariki, tai ope, tai rongo. Ka pari te tai o te rongo. Pera i ngā waiata tīmo ti te atane. Nā, hei tauira. Me tere, taku... Uh, Nah, mo e nei fano kupu kote mahi ati i hei ati i. Kote mahi ati i roti i te nei me te nei fano kupu katohu i te tahi wahi i te tahi wārane. Pe nei kai te tua harata i te kota tawa i tells you the place or time and place. Pere kei te tū a harata i te rima karaka, i te pō, i te ao. That e always indicates a place. That's all it does. That's all it does. It can be key as well if we're talking about, there's another bit, we talk about the future, whether it's going to be done next week, we use key. If it's doing now, we use e, but uh, I don't want to confuse you too much. If you're not confused by now, have we got, have we got there? So two is one of the words. Oh, I'll leave all that. All it says is when these words, these whānau words go together, the E always indicates where it's happening. Now the next whānau words, tunu, what does this E do? This E, he, he aranga he fitinga, he fitinga wairu, he fitinga tikanga, from the action, to what's being done to. It's different. It doesn't indicate any places or anything like that. Ka pai. Ka te pai mai i a hai. Te mārama. Ko te mea nui ki a mārama. Ko te mahi o te i. He rere ke te mahi. Aha ko ki tā te whānau kupu. According to the family of words. Koinai te mea kei, koinai te whānau kupu kei te tino whakararu i ngā tangata kei te ako i te reo. This E indicates who does the action. Ko o te ia harata. And another, another part of what I teach is that I always try and make sure that the action is at last. If we don't put the action last, people put another E in there. So we go like this, koti i aharata. If we put tunu first, then people put an e te prawa. And that's, you don't need that e in this type of sentence. So I, tell, I encourage my students to put the action last all the time and then you can't put the e in there. That's another way of uh, stopping that mistake. And the same with this one, uh, these ones here. Far no family. Remember, I said these all invisible actions of the body. 
and we use ki to show that they uh, ka poti te tinana ka rere ki wahi ke ki tangata ke ki taonga ke aua kupu ano kei te maumahara o ki kei te pakaro o ki kei te marama ki kei te mohi o ki kei te aroha ki kei te rongo ki kei te hongi ki te reka o te kai era momo mai tēnei mea ko te e Rita tonu ki tērā atu, always put the action last and you, 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 won't get, you won't put another E in there when there's not supposed to be an E in there. Nā, kei te rongo au i, kei, uh, he nui ngā momo whakatako te ronga me tēnei kupu taia. Ka taia au, <laughs> ki te, ka taia au ki te tunu i te praua. He nui ngā momo āhua tanga, kari te, kari te tino pai te reri o te tēnei kōrero. Nā, tēnei ko te e, ko ina te mea, te e, mo te oti, ko te i, ko oti i aia, tēnei ka taia e au, ko, ko oti i au, ka taia e au. Oh. Nā, ko te, kupu, ko te kumu a whaka, hei rongo a pēr. Now, to make it easier, once we've got that, here are some examples of uh, some of the stuff I have from the students I have from university. Ki āhei tonu au ki te tūtuki pai ai i tērā pepa. There's two ways of correcting that, either using the word whaka. Ki āhei tonu au ki te whaka tūtuki pai i tēnei pepa, o ki āhei tonu ki a tūtuki pai ai i au. So that tūtuki is from the Oti family. These are the sorts of things that we... Uh, I'm trying to kia whāngai pai ki te taringa o te tangata. Mutu. Ko mutu rātou i te tito i te waiata tērā wiki. What I said before about uh, ko mutu. Mutu is from the same whānau, the blue, blue whānau. Me whakaaro koutou. Hea te mea tika. The E tells just who did it. So where should the ego? Ko a kamutu iarato, and always put the action last. Kamutu iarato to waiata to tito. You get rid of all those other e's. Kapai, and then you then you then you starting to get. Once you start doing that, ka kuti mata te waiu a Maori te rere. The other way we do it this way. We actually we actually following English thinking. We're thinking they've finished composing the song. That's just straight English structure. We do it the other way. Uh Kamutu Ira to the way to Tito for Kauru Maori. Kauru Maori. Atira wiki. Atira atine tine rangi pe katota maramatanga. Ah tera. Now, I need to, I need to call it with, oh, with the fucker. E moi ana ia, from the, from the purple, from the portal fano. If it's on your paper, you might get that right. <laughs> moi and two are together. There's two right. And this is a simple way of putting, uh, changing these words by adding fucker. That's why we use fucker. The reason we use fucker is to change any word into a, uh, uh, changing it from any fano kupu into the federal federal fano and then you just use the e to transfer the action and that's how that's done takes a bit of training so he or she's sleeping next one he or she's sleeping young putting them to sleep same as this one in noho anias she's staying living or st and then the next one when you want to as you go into the movie theaters you get someone with a, a torch and putting making you put Sit you places, then that's when you use the fokka. E fokka noho ana ia, inga no nohi. That, and that's why I say fokka is a bit of a rongoa. It's it's a medicinal type of uh, prefix that can help us makes it easier to correct our language. Na ane kiau nei kotorongoa. Tuatai, 
that you learn those those five whānau families there, that you understand or you're clear to understand the work of the e and the ki and the air, and then you understand what Poka does. And there's a uh, hey hey Poka koro Poka mutunga maku i roti te nei wa hanga koro ro mata kumu a Poka te tu mahi poro te tu ahua me te tu me te tu ingoa ka huri hei tu mahi fiti pere i a Maui Maui ko te kupu manu he kupu ingoa ingari mehi me kai te huri te ra na Maui i Poka manu i a i ano o na Maui i Poka manu Kawa kupu, uh, to te tu ingua, name of something, same as poka tinana, tinana is a noun, poka tinana, tinana is the body, poka tinana is to embody it, those sorts of meanings. Tēnā pēr kei te kauhau atu i ki ngā poka pono. Ane i tahi atu. Ko wari wari au i ia ngā me a. Oh. Kei te fok, kei te mau mahara au ki ngā raurangi, kei te fok a mau mahara au i aku hoa. I remember the good old, I'm remembering the good old days, and I'm reminding my friends slightly different. But see, mm. using the key when it's one, when it's from one far note, when you put the fokker in, you got to have that e there. There's another. One. Have the fokker, but you got to have an e in there, guy. You're doing any of my assignments anyway. Tēnei, ah, he tino tika tēnei kōrero. Ko pau te pūti e tana wahine. Ah, ane, this is the other way you write it. Ko whaka pau tana wahine i te pūti. That's the two different ways you can say that. So that fokka is, it's a easy, it's a, if you only understand one of the whānau, use fokka, not all the time, you don't say things like fokka tautoko, or fokka tunu. <laughs> and the last bit, katai e tato, katai e tato te reo, te fokka rau ora. Nō reira, ka nui tēnei, māku, aku pakeke, ka nui te mihi, ka nui te mihi. Ka nui te mihi ki taho a Maui, ka nui te mihi ki a tātere, te nā koe te tūkana. Engari, aku pākeke, he oranga ngākau te hoki pēnei mai. Engari, tātou ka tō, kua, kua rau pēnei mai, i nungi te reo karanga o tātere nei. Mā te aha i tēnei paku kōro āku. For those who are still struggling with that piece of paper, I have the answers here. Who will, will, will hand them out? So once you get those family of words right, then there's a there's a little thing we follow for each one of those families for the e and the ki. Nō reira, kāti rā tato e hui nei ite nei waka nei kita manga Māori nei kia ora tato. Oh, tētahi atu mahi ko mahi au uh, kei konei e tahi o aku akunga. When they do the 300 level at Massey, they have ko tētahi mahi me tito e rātou tētahi pao. So when they graduate, that's the song they'll sing. Ahu hoha au ki te whakarongo ki pai kia, kia toru taima, pini pini ku kia lima taima. Nga, he era wai ata rongo nui, hoa, 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 honi. Nō reira, koe nga tāku, and I nei aku wako nga katoa, ka tito rātou i a rātou ake pao, hei whakanui a rātou anō. He whakaaro tērā. Ka pai.